Good morning. <clears throat> Hope you're doing swell. It's Saturday. I've had a very, very lazy morning. I don't get to ever like sleep sleep in, but I just kind of scrolled mindlessly and I was like, okay, I need to get up. I need to be productive. I think it's like 11 something. I just got ready. About to do my skincare. Um, I've been looking for this Burt's Bees facial oil for the longest. I used it all last summer. And then I just couldn't find it anymore. So I finally found it randomly at Target. But it smells like like tea. And I love the scent. So I don't have anything too crazy planned. I did have a meeting with my mentor from church. Like my corporate mentor. But I think we're going to do a Zoom instead. Which I'm very grateful for. Because I didn't want to have to drive all the way out there. And then have to come back and then hang out for like an hour at home and then go back out there for church. So I'm very glad that we just decided to do it on Zoom. So it gives me some time to like, you know, get some stuff together at home. I didn't know if I was actually going to vlog or not today. But I was like, it's supposed to be a chill weekend. So might as well. But I ha don't really use my guaisha. I'm probably mispronouncing that, but I'm trying to use it a little bit more frequently. It's just in the shape of a butterfly, so it's cute. Um, and then also, I kind of want to go to Home Depot. I went the other day to get some more lighting for the kitchen. Also got some more light bulbs and stuff like that, but the ones that I got are too blue toned, so it's not bright like I would like it. So, um... I might save that for this afternoon, depending or not if we're going to hang out with friends. But Kendall's family business is open on the last Saturday of each month. So he's at work right now. So I get to kind of piddle paddle around uh, for today. But I do want to change the lighting in here because I kind of want to do more like show makeup and show like my skincare and you know just ramble and the lighting is kind of yellow in here so when he gets home I'm gonna have him take off take off this dome and then um we'll replace the light bulbs in here then I also get such beautiful lighting in here as you can see we have this little vanity set with this huge mirror and then I have a big window right there and a ledge and I can do makeup in there but I need to find somewhere to like put the remainder of my clothes since my chest drawers and stuff um, are at my mom's house. So uh, that's like some stuff that I'm going to do today. Just kind of plan. Just kind of getting everything situated. Getting the house together because we're having friends. I'm trying to have friends over all the time this springtime and summer. So I want to get everything like sorted. And then when I have girlfriends or family that comes in town or Kendall's friends. Like the guest room is sorted for like them to come over and spend the night. I don't know. Having adult sleepover sounds like so much fun. So um, I want to have family somewhere where they can like come and spend the night and hang out with us. So. Anywho, um, yeah, I kind of want to go, my mom got me a Starbucks gift card yesterday. I think Kendall did make some coffee, usually he does, before he leaves. So I know there's some coffee down there, but I kind of want to watch it. So I might do that and then come back and cook a little something for, for lunch. Okay, I'm going to rinse this off in a bit, but I just go in with some CeraVe <laughs> um, SPF. I don't think I'm going to wear makeup until probably later on, but honestly, might not even do that. Might just brush my eyebrows up a little bit. But I did get some new jewelry for my birthday, which I definitely did not show. And I really wanted to show it, um, so I need to put on some jewelry before I head out I'm just going to the drive there but before I head out to Starbucks what do my baby hair perhaps let's see I kind of I wore it like this a little bit yesterday so maybe I'll do that again just chunk on this big old scrunchie in like a little low button so it's like messy but it's cute um i got quite a bit of jewelry for my 
birthday. So I want to show it because I love jewelry. I have jewelry pretty much everywhere. <laughs> you can't even see me, but I have jewelry pretty much everywhere. I get it from my mother. So let me show you the pieces, the new pieces that I got. Um, and then I'm gonna chunk on some jewelry for the day. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something. But maybe I'm not. Oh, I am missing something. New ring. Okay. Then I'll do my baby hair so I'm going to head out. But I got this new ring. Doesn't it look like Fenty? It's so pretty. So it's a real gold ring. So I got that. Kendall got me these earrings. They're so pretty. So I've been wearing these a few times this work week uh, for some meetings that I was leading. They just looked really pretty with like my braids pulled back. Also got... Um, some gold hoops which let me throw these on today i need to put my other like second hole piercings in but i might wear these today and they're just pretty gold hoops also got these iridescent which you probably can't even tell but they're little iridescent earrings and they come with like a matching bracelet my nails are getting so long. I need to schedule me and my mom a nail appointment. She texted me this morning. She's like, hey, can you schedule us a nail appointment for Friday? I was like, yeah, because these claws, these are my nails, by the way. They're just so long now that I can't, like, put on my necklaces. So I'm just going to get them cut down and probably keep the white. Got a new everyday cross, which I might put on as well today. And then uh, my mother-in-law. Got me this cross. And then on the back, it's a black one. So really, really cute. But I'm going to chunk on some jewelry, do my baby hair, and then set out for the day. It's really pretty, but I think it's supposed to rain later on, which is typical. But I'm going to chunk some of this stuff on. Maybe I won't wear, well, maybe I'll wear that. And then, yeah, happy Saturday. Up right there my snuggies and stuff oh i need to i had it on last night so that's the only reason why it's out i really want to wear that big big cross but maybe i'll have kendall help me put it on before church this afternoon but i got the grasp of this i think my hands are kind of slippery see Heck yeah. Okay. Cool. They have deodorant. I bought into the hype. This is the lavender rosin. But I like it. It smells good. And it actually lasts during like F45. Um, got to work out tomorrow, which I'm excited about. I just think I needed a little bit of rest. So that's why I like took a couple of days off. I got this roll-on perfume from Ulta. And I really like it a lot. I used to wear roll-on perfume all the time, but I like it. We're off to go and get Starbucks. This is a new setup. I need to clean the mirror off and stuff. And then we also got some things from Target last night, so I need to put those up as well. But they're like decor stuff. But sweatshirt, airy leggings, Nikes. I like these airy leggings a lot, but they're definitely just lounge ones. They're not something that I would ever wear to the gym. But I'm going to head over to Starbucks. So we're about to head off to church. So I thought that I would show you my outfit. I had this dress. I bought it around the time of our wedding rehearsal. And then I never wore the dress. I was like, I kind of want it as a top. So I just cut it and made it into a top. But it's so cute. It's crisscross. It's a little oversized. But it makes for a gorgeous top. I have my vintage belt on. My American Eagle 
pants. These are like the mom fit oversized. And then I have my Sam Edelman loafers on. Just a cute little casual look, but also look put together. Earrings, same. I put a little bit of blush on and some concealer underneath my eyes. But I didn't put any mascara on because I'm like, it is what it is. So, tonight is communion. So I thought that I would dress up a little bit for that. But me and Kendall are going to one of our new favorite um, Japanese restaurants afterwards. I think our friends might come hang out there or afterwards. So, we'll see. But this is the outfit for church. And I'm going to have my Marc Jacobs bag on. Even though it's blue, I don't care. I'm going to wear it still. But, really cute outfit. See you at the restaurant. <laughs> Monday just got off a meeting I have another one fairly soon in about 45 minutes or so so I thought that I would do a little bit of a try on because I haven't done those in so long and I miss doing fashion videos on my channel this isn't gonna be like anything like styling wise but I did want to show you some new things that I got in for spring a ton of free people stuff um, some skims I've never tried skims before but I've been convinced so I got some skim stuff also Aritzia and that is it but mostly free people so we're gonna do a little bit of a try on haul um, and I guess I'll start off with skims because then I can kind of pair everything else up with it um, I did get the idea I was influenced by Aaliyah's face and Kyra to get skims so hopefully they'll be a really good staple in my wardrobe this spring and summer so let me quickly put those on and we'll do a little bit of a first impressions okay not gonna lie I am pleasantly surprised I think it's very flattering especially since I'm not like big boobies I think it still looks really really good I have a seamless airy bra on underneath but of course I would probably snap up the back so you can't see the straps but since I'm trying on other things I'm not too bothered by it but I got it in size let me see in the this is the fits everybody tank bodysuit and the color sienna size small so I like it I still have like my underwear and stuff on like that because I didn't know whether or not I was going to keep it or I was going to turn it in but it looks really good these are just my like house joggers from Zara but I think that this bodysuit is going to be something that I wear a lot especially because it's like my nude color I think it looks really pretty and flattering I can probably stack up some jewelry and it looked really cute so this is the first one so far so good so let's try on the black one and then try on my other outfits that I got so I have some of the other clothes that I'm gonna try on in the back but when I was looking at the bodysuit, I was like, man, this looks like a toddler's onesie. And I am like athletic small frame. So I'm like small up top, but like I have muscular legs at the bottom. I was like, I don't know if this is going to fit. But I put it on. It is very tight, but it is really cute. I got it. Let me see. The Essential T-shirt bodysuit in the color suit and it's a small medium so it fits really good it's very compressed so i i am i am liking it a lot I'm trying to get outside of my comfort zone in 2022 and just for more form fitting and like appreciate the body so i just have it with my everyday cross on and it's really pretty and these are some of the new shorts that i was talking about actually so i wanted to get some shorts that i can wear me and kendall are going on vacation but i wanted some shorts that were long enough to cover the butt but also like you know a little bit billowy so like they're not skin tight like coochie cutter shorts so i got these in free people they are here's all the stats in case 
you want them. I got them in a size 27 because I figured the 27 would be long enough for me. Even though it's a little roomy around the waist, it's still good if I want to like eat a lot. I still have room. Then also I can put on a cute belt if they decide to be a little bit too big around the waist. I just want to ensure that they like fit around the hips and the booty and they're long enough that I feel like comfortable wearing them out and about. So I like them a lot. Oh, my legs have gotten so muscular from F45 and I'm obsessed, but these shorts are really cute and I like the back. I don't think you can see them too well, but they have that like vintage feel in the back. So I think they're super cute and flattering. Now let me try on the other pants that I got from Free People. They're jeans. I love their jeans. I love Free People in general. Their clothes are just my aesthetic. I just really like them a lot. So let me try on those jeans really quickly. Okay, so these are the second jeans. Usually in Free People, I'm like a 26, 27 in pants, but I did have to go up on these and they are still a little bit tight around the waist. I think it's just the way the pants are made, but they don't have this in the next size up. So I think I might get these tailored just so they're a little bit looser because they are kind of tight around the waist. But here are all the details. In case you want to find it on their website i got them in a size 28 but these are so cute they came out in their march <laughs> i'm trying to breathe they came out in the march launch so i am 5'9 for reference and i think the last time i took measurements i'm like a 32 25 37 maybe in hips because my hips haven't gotten bigger in my butt so 37 in hips I will say confidently so usually I wear a size 26 27 or size 2 in pants dresses I'm a size small or a size 2 tops I'm a size extra small or small so so you can just have the reference but these are the pants and I am 5'9", so I am quite tall and these still fit as such an oversized baggy feel. I love them. Um, I will say they have three colors online. The reason why I won't go up another size is because they don't have this style anymore in this color. So the other ones are just like plain, but I don't have anything that's like distressed. And these are like not tacky distress. It's just like a cute little workman distress and I really like them a lot. And I can still wear heels with them. Them. they're still like baggy where I can put tennis shoes on with them I think they're really cute and they're also flattering on the booty which is always something that we're looking forward to but I really do like the skims it just gives that seamless fit usually I just like tuck in pants on the side but I really like how these look and as you can see in the back look I have all that gapping in the back but they're like tight up front so I don't know what the seamstress will say but we shall see I'm liking it a lot. Okay, next up are these pants from Aritzia. This is my very first purchase from Aritzia. I actually wore these over the weekend, so the tag is upstairs, but they're the vegan leather pants. I think they're in a size four. So I think that's like a 27, 26, 27. So they're like a size four. I got them a little bit bigger because I wanted them to fit well around my hips. But even though I wore these all day, they still didn't lose the elasticity in the waist. So that's always good. But these are the pants. I am tall once again. So they fitted a really good length. I had on some boots and they still looked really cute. They are very slippery, but they're like buttery to the touch. And I have the Skims bodysuit on still, and it looks really good. I have regular underwear on, so I probably have like a panty line, but they fit like a glove. I love these pants so much. Um, I don't know how much they cost, but I'll have all the details down below in case you want to check them out. But this is like one of the last colors they had, and I was like, I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe anyway. So I'm going to get a color that's a little bit funky. So I'm glad I did it because they are the best. One thing though, um, I live in the south, and our weather flip-flops. So when we were going out earlier in the day, it was kind of cold. And then later in the afternoon, it got warm, so my butt was sweating in these leather pants. But they were still cute. So since I have the pants on. I think I'm going to try on the free people tops. 
So let's switch into that. So this is the next little top that I got from Free People. Um, I love it a lot. I love this slate color. Um, I need to wear a different bra, of course, <laughs> with it, but it is a really stunning and gorgeous top. I love their top so much. They have the big sleeves that are my aesthetic, and they also fit really well. So this is in a size small. Let me see the details, because I think I still have the tag on it. Let's just rip it off <laughs> so these are the details in case you want to find find it on your own and you like it so um i enjoy free people i will continuously what is my camera doing there we go so this is the top i decided to pair with the little shorts because i think i might wear this as a combo i usually don't like crop tops but when i saw this one i was like oh it's an appropriate crop top where i can like wear um high-waisted pants with it so it's easy to tuck in for a little seamless hold and i'll probably put on like a little funky belt with this just to create some more dimension and also just to have something a little bit more flashy with it but i really like these muted and slate colors i think they're really pretty so this is this top and then I have a billowy top okay this is the top that I was talking about one thing I will probably do is pin this up because I don't like how deep it is but it is a really stunning blouse it's a heavier linen material but it's perfect for those like warm center, summer days because it's still lightweight where you won't like overheat it's very billowy so you can stay like cool throughout the day still have the shorts on but this is the blouse I really like it a lot it gives me like that sailor feel which I like and then also has pockets so I really enjoy this. I think the color is so beautiful on my black skin. Oh, it's just a really cute blouse. I don't know how I would style it right now. Probably with those jeans I showed you earlier. But it is a really stunning blouse. I took the tags off already. It's in a size small. So it's very oversized. But it's a size small. And yeah. So let me try on this little cute top that I got from Urban Outfitters. And then we'll flip back to free people with some more dresses that I got. Okay. This is a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Just because it is like a shorter crop. So I would probably wear like high-waisted pants with it. Because I don't want to like be too exposed so I like it a lot I actually found this top from a girl on YouTube I think her name is Jenna Hong and she was doing like a work week in my life because we love work week corporate gals over here so um she showed this top I was like "Ooh, that chocolate brown color will look good on me so I got it and it's cute and I like it. It looks like little sun strips. I got this from Urban Outfitters. I'll have the details down below because I don't remember the price, but the size is a size small. So it's still like room to breathe, but it's not like skin tight where it's like suffocating, but a really cute little top. Let's go back to the dresses from Free People. Next up, my mom actually got this for Christmas for me, but they had like this cream and brown set and it was in a size medium just because she was like, you got to have it, even though it was a little too big. It was just so big. So I got it in a size extra small. They only had this black left and it is so cute. It's from the Free People Beach Collection, but it's like this, like this skin tight, like knit dress and then you have this oversized like sweater that goes along with it and it's so pretty i wore some cheetah print heels with this actually and like some stacked gold jewelry and my hair slicked back and i looked so cute but i love this dress because i don't have anything like bodycon this is still like bodycon but i have like my oversized feel that i really like in outfits and tops so this is the next thing from the Free People Beach Collection. I have one more dress from Free People and then I'm gonna show you also what Kendall got me for my birthday. This is a Christmas gift. I just got around to wearing it for my birthday. So I was like, let me include in the spring since it is like a spring uh, type of sweater for in between weather. And also the green one that I'm going to show you, birthday, spring, and then what Kendall got me is birthday, spring. So I actually just spent so much time trying to button this up because it's like a corset back and it has, I don't want to like show too much, so I'll just show it in a bit, but it has like this little corset back. It also has like a little thing at the top where it needs to be buttoned, but the dress is stunning. It's for free people as well. My mom got me this for my birthday. It's just a really pretty dress that I'm not doing justice because I need like my husband to come and like help me button it up but this is how it's supposed to fit and it's also supposed to fit a little bit higher as well 
up here. So something like this, if you can get the image. But I don't really wear short dresses, so this is definitely outside of my comfort zone. I would probably wear some heels and stuff with it. But it's a really pretty dress. It hits the really nice length. I just realized that I recorded all of that and you didn't see anything. So this is the set that Kendall got me and it's in a size small, size two I believe, from ASOS. This little set that I can take to DR, make the booty look good. And then I like this top as well. I love anything with billowy sleeves and sheer and just wide legged. That's my aesthetic. But let me also show you the dress that I was talking about. So this is what the back looks like. I'm still not too it justice it's this linen material from free people wide legged um wide legged uh balloon um sleeves which i love and then also they have this little corset dealing on the back so it's just cinched then also at the top it has this so it sits higher up on the neckline and i can't do this by myself so i would need my husband to help me like button that up but these are the details in case you want to find the dress online at Free People. I really like it a lot. So it's in this really pretty emerald color. I'm actually going to end the vlog off right here. Um, I think it's, what time is it? It's 11.37, so I need to send off an agenda for a meeting that I have this afternoon. Um, I have a few meetings this afternoon, so I'm probably going to end this vlog and then I'll start a new one. But thank you so much for hanging out with me these last few days. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day as well. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!